History is filled with dark chapters, moments of human cruelty that leave an indelible mark on our collective memory. One such chapter is the story of Unit 731. During the Second Sino-Japanese War and World War II, the Japanese Imperial Army conducted some of the most horrific human experiments known to man under the guise of Unit 731. Led by General Shiro Ishii, Unit 731 was officially known as the Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department of the Kwantung Army. But behind this innocuous title was a clandestine program dedicated to biological and chemical warfare experimentation on human subjects. Located in the Pingfang district of Harbin, China, Unit 731's complex spanned over six square kilometers and included research laboratories, an airfield, barracks, and even a prison. Within these walls, thousands of men, women, and children, most of them Chinese civilians and prisoners of war, were subjected to unimaginable atrocities. Victims were exposed to plague, cholera, anthrax, and other deadly pathogens. They endured vivisections, often without anesthesia, to study the effects of these diseases on the human body. Scientists conducted frostbite experiments by exposing prisoners to extreme cold, then experimenting with various methods of rewarming their limbs. These brutal procedures often resulted in gangrene and amputations. Dr. Shiro Ishii, the commander of Unit 731, dehumanized his patients by calling them Maruta, the Japanese word for logs. Following imminent defeat in 1945, ministries in Tokyo ordered the destruction of all incriminating materials, including those in Pingfang. Potential witnesses, such as the 300 remaining prisoners, were either gassed or fed poison, while the 600 Chinese and Manchurian laborers were shot. Ishii ordered every member of the group to disappear and take the secret to the grave. Potassium cyanide vials were issued for use in case the remaining personnel were captured. However, soon after, he was arrested. American General Douglas MacArthur allegedly struck a deal with Ishii. If the U.S. granted him immunity, he in turn must reveal information about his experiments and about Japanese biological warfare. Today, the truth of Unit 731 is slowly coming to light. Museums and memorials stand as stark reminders of the past, honoring the memory of the countless victims who suffered and died. We must remember the atrocities of Unit 731, not only to honor those who perished, but to ensure such inhumanity is never repeated. History's darkest chapters hold crucial lessons for us all. May their souls rest in peace, and may we strive for a world where such cruelty has no place.